Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of Smith and the Black here with the Strat Time Report coming into a Friday and uh, Spy Fighting Back. And so uh, there's a few things, you know, when things occur matters, right? And so we want to know we're coming into the end of the week, right? So here you can see here on the weekly, we took out the highs and the lows outside week, right? And so where we close in here matters on which side of this are we going to take out next week. We're getting close to the middle, which is not good, because then we could potentially have an inside week and another summer snoozer. But we've got a little bit more action this week, so that's good. You have that outside day here, then the two down, then the real nice two here, and then yesterday's gap and back up, and now two down by taking out the previous high, two back up coming back through the previous range like nothing happened, right? So keep in mind in these 60s, and you can see this here, slightly poked down in the 60 and then went green in the last hour. Boom, outside bar back to the upside uh, to reconfirm the chew down, chew up daily, right? So that's what I'm talking about here, though the weekly is the problem, right? Because we're nowhere near taking out either side. We're rallying back into the middle of this thing, but this is why it's a, a two down, but green and closer to up here today. And you know, we talked about that in the vid last night, so uh, that's what you're always looking for. What's the next two? What am I closest to? So right now, we're going to see if these two can become an outside bar of that or all of this, but uh, we got some day left, and then we're coming to next week. Uh, if we go to QQQ, and QQQ, same deal, takes out the low, takes out the high, and comes back through this range, these two become an outside bar of that. What that sets up was an inside week last week pokes down, stops them out, and comes back up for a potential rev strat into the highs again. And here on the 60, you can see this potentially here. Take out the previous high, take out previous low, the two up, the two down, and boom, right above here. In the next hour, 367.37 gets my attention. The problem here, look at this month. It's the 20th. <laughs> Doji doing nothing. That's the problem, and that's why you get all this back and forth chop stuff like it, like in here. It's like you can see how they've been messing with them. It's like, oh, we're gonna hit them. No, we're not. Oh, we're gonna hit them. No, we're not. We're gonna hit them. No, we're not. We're gonna hit them. No, we're not. And then, yeah, we are. And then, no, we're not. Right back up. So you can see all that. And this is the kind of action you can expect when you see a Doji on the month coming to the 20th. Go to the Dow Jones Diamonds. And you can see once again here, two down, two up, looking like the other things. Coming back and it was a little bit worse, that red week there. But once again, look at this month. It's doing nothing, right? And that's what this summer's pretty much been. We go back to small caps. And small caps still inside month, got a little bit closer, tried to, but then you get once again the two down, two up, reversal. Did get that inside weekend down though for a little bit. Little choppy in there, so um, let's go take a look at a few here. Um, Cisco and Cisco having a nice day here, nice week outside week going back to take out these highs here. It's been a while, <laughs> there it is. And um, there's your outside day, boom. That means the selling was rejected, like in so many things, and it's still being rejected when you go into the highs. The three, two, right now, Cisco's still going. If we go to, and here's what you can look for, like on a 30, here, the two down to stop them out, and then boom, there's your 2-2 two -two reversal, two down, two up, and that's how you get in on the Cisco. Uh, if we go to uh, Lowe's, and Lowe's having an inside day to the upside after that kicker, right here, textbook kicker, bright red, gaps above it, boom. Then you get your inside day up, sideways measured moves, still going. That's good. You got some more room for all time highs on this thing. Here's how you get in on that shooter, hammer. Two up, two down, boom, you're in, and off she goes. And that tells you to look at Home Depot. And Home Depot, take out the previous high, take out the previous low, two up, two down, boom. These two become an outside bar of that, right? And all that does is really bring it back into doji land on the week and doji land on the month. Well, that's a problem, but uh, that's when you get this back and forth type of action. Uh, if we go to Target. And Target, once again, like a lot of things, the two down by taking out the previous low, two back up. So uh, still red on the week and still red on the month, but uh, anytime you have that daily in those 60s, going back the other way, that overrides the longer term, right? I can't identify these sellers today, right? 
as long as this is green and that's green on the 60, target coming back a little bit. Um, if we go to, well, we got the Bitcoins up a bit today, so you get your Riot blockchain, your usual suspects. Right, blockchain, what's that doing? Two down, two up, right? What that's going to set up here is potentially the hammer counter shooter week, right? And if that works, you might get the rebreak of the month. So this was a rev threat month one, two. It comes back into it. Now we'll see if they can keep fighting back. Of course, watch the Bitcoin with that. You've got Mara, M A R A, and inside bar, slight poke down. Um, off she goes, potentially an outside week, and that is holding the rev strat month. The inside, the poke down, one, two, two, still good, Mara. Coming in a little bit on the 60, so we'll keep an eye on that. Um, SI, rev strat day, inside bar, pokes down, back up, thanks to the block, thanks to Bitcairns. Having some problems on the month over here, and you're still two down on the week, but the run not a week. And you can see, comes down to stop them out here, stop them out here on the upside, and now right back up, there's your broadening formation. If we go to Mr. Mr. And Mr. Mr. now coming in off the 60, but that's another two down, two up, setting up hammer for the week, and coming through three month range here. If we go to Serious logic. And serious logic setting up potential rev strat month. Inside month pokes down, but now coming back in. Right coming back up to it. You see this the inside day, the stop them out, the coming back through. So we're gonna see if we can come back through all this kind of stuff up into here. Mother bar issues on the 60, as you can see here. Stuck in the opening range, so you be careful of that. Might want to let this 60 close out before you go after that and see if this market keeps chugging along. Right now, it looks like they want to keep chugging along. If we go to Spotify, and Spotify coming out of the ashes here, also another two down, two up, back to previous range. And if that works, it sets up the 2 2 week here. Now that you're closing out near high of the week, and then I could take this month back green, so we'll see how that goes. If we go to task, and task, new issue, but inside month to the upside, all right, now stalls out on the 60, you can see this, stop them out, stop them out, there's your broadening formation, now trying to come back in. Exhaustion risk, because it's going into the highs, right, you want to be coming back to a previous range, which it's not, but you did here, this was a nice entry here, the two down, the two up, back to the previous range, and these all became an outside bar of all that, you see? If we go to MNDY, MNDY, just an inside day and up, still going into the highs, this thing's had a heck of a week, and uh, exhaustion risk by stalling out on the highs, but we'll see if there's more there. Um, if we go to, let's give this some downside, Amazon. And Amazon, not getting killed today, but you can see uh, the monthly here, the two up, the two down, Amazon hurting, coming back through this range, right? Having a rough week here is Amazon. It's still just dribbling down ever since the gap. And then you can see this here, the inside 60 down. Couldn't take this thing out, though, so we'll see if it continues to weaken. It's having some problems over there. Uh, fate. Fate T-E. It's now stalled here. Stuck in the opening range, we can keep an eye on that. There's a nice gapper down there to see if they want to flush the turlet later. Um, if we go to Baba. And Baba tried to rally this morning, but look at that 60. Two up, boom, 2-2 two -two reversal, back into the turlet she goes. Baba had a rough month here. Uh, had a rough, real rough stretch here. Uh, like so, like with a lot of Chinese names. Uh, if we go to LRCX, and LRCX gives us outside day here, and we've known about this since this weekly break here. Two up, boom. Now, if that works, it comes and becomes an outside bar of the month, which it did, 
right? And so still having some problems. You had your outside bar inside, then down to stop these guys out. Now firming up just a tad. We'll see. And we've been watching AMAT with that. And AMAT getting stuck in this mother bar here. Right? How are you going to get outside of that opening range? But AMAT is looking to finish the job here. It hasn't done it on the outside month. That'd be 123.88 below that. All right, so you got a little bit more room to keep an eye on over there. If we go to Domino's Pizza. And Domino's Pizza had that rev threat week last week here. Inside, pokes up, then down. Just didn't go very far because you can see it's all stuck in here. Inside month. Uh, just was having a rough morning here. You can see that triangle out higher high the 2-2 two -two back down and now stop all these guys out as a matter whether the seller steps down right now they're starting to come back with this 2-2 two -two back up so we'll see if that sets up again if we go to lift and lift having a rough one here too inside weak to the downside is this what we look for the outside bar higher high lower low inside real move boom down she goes and that tells you to keep an eye on uber And Uber not as bad, but you did see the inside week as well to the downside. Right now you got Coinbase coming up here, and the, and the Bitcoin stuff and crypto. If we go to Robin Hood, and Robin Hood had the inside week to the downside. All right, and there was your outside 60 takes it down so not falling apart market just kind of stalling out here as we get to that middle of the range on those weeks like I talked about uh, if we go to uh, star surgical and star ooh, trying to rev strat the 60 and come back but it is inside weakened down for the next few hours uh, if we go to John Deere and John Deere got hammered right out the chute and this was a real nice 15er right here boom off the 15 minute two up two down it got obliterated right and that's setting up the rev strat month there because it was an inside month goes up and we got still got some month left but here on that weekly did the two up and the two two reversal down right you can see there's some nice red movement nice red action in there and then on the 60 just wait for it, see if you can get this to go t take this out. Two down, two up, and that would be back down into the turlet below 349. So you got a little room on that, and that tells us to take a look at Cat. And Cat's still an inside day, right? But uh, is what it is. So you get, looks like um, John Deere was your winner. If you go to Snow. Snowfoot trying to fight back. You can see he gets stuck in the opening range, so there's that. So uh, right now, let's go back look at Spy. Spy on that new 60, maintaining the gains, right? Remember, this is an outside bar last 60, so anytime it's above that, that slight selling pressure was rejected, and back up we go. So there you have it. So hope everybody had a great week and has an even better weekend. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black, here at the CB Group. Strat time report.